Today we are going to practice an interrupted over and over suture. I'm going to do it on a pig's foot, which uh, we inflict with a wound with a scalpel, but the pig was already dead. Or at least his foot was. And we've got a few different instruments we'll be using. See on the tray, uh, we've got a variety of sutures here. I'll be using the 4.0 silk, hoping that's a little easier to tie than the polypropylene um, instrument to hold on to the suture. And forceps to pull the skin back. Uh, probably not going to use the syringe because the foot's not going to feel any pain. We have surgical gloves and these are great. Compared to those boxes of gloves, you know, that you use at the cadaver lab, you get like 50 or 100 for 10 or 15 bucks. These are fantastic. Open up a pair here. And these are seven and a half. Latex powder free. They actually come left and right. So they're pretty sharp. And as I said, we're going to use the 4.0 silk. So get that out of there. It comes like that. Open that up. You see the little suture at the end. And, and yeah, this is going to be good to work with. We're going to start by uh, clamping down on the needle uh, away from the tip. And we'll secure it like so. And then start our suturing. We've switched cameras here, so we'll try to get the best view possible. Uh, tip the camera. Hopefully not so much it'll tip over. So here we have the uh, pig's foot with the wound that we inflict it and so we're just gonna go about two millimeters to the side of the wound Oops, come on there we go so we've got that pushed through Fresh thread, so it's pretty long. With a little bit hanging out there. Now, what we're going to do is wrap the uh, silk thread around the head of the instrument here twice. Then grab the loose end, pull it through. Tighten that up. And we'll make the next wrapping around the instrument in the opposite direction. I guess it would help if I remembered which direction I did that initially. Grab the other end. Pull through. And then do it one more time. Again, alternating the direction. This time we'll only wrap around once. Pull through. And that's it. It's a little long on that end, but I'm still learning. Uh, the, the blue stuff over here, this, these sutures, that's that polypropylene that's kind of hard to work with. Uh, I prefer the silk. So we're going to start about two millimeters to the side of the wound. Push through. And come up the other side. Pull 
pull that through almost to the end. Okay. Then we're going to wrap the end we just pulled through around the head of the instrument twice. And I wrapped that away from me. We're going to alternate the way we wrap with each, each knot. So there's one. And we're going to do a triple knot here. And I think, I think that last one was away from me, so we're going to wrap it around the instrument. This time we'll go twice towards me. Grab the end of the thread. And let's see. There we go. And we're going to do it one more time, alternating the direction. I wrapped away from me that time. Grab the end, pull it through. Looks like kind of a loose suture there. And that's it for the interrupted over and over suture. Uh, basically, like I said, we use a triple knot. Each time we alternate uh, directions that we're wrapping around the instrument, towards us, away from us, then towards us again. We wrap twice on the first knot, twice on the second, once on the last knot. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and good luck to everyone watching.